How's it going guys? Bring your platoon here and welcome back to another great game in World of Tanks Xbox One Edition. Today I'll be playing in once again the tier 10 light tank in the American line, the Sheridan. Today is going to be a little something different however because I'm thanking somebody who miraculously gifted me a tank just for being a fan of my content, which I don't deserve nor condone doing, but I still regardless appreciate it a lot. Don't deserve it, but thank you very much. About her love, CX. I'm gonna put his name or his gamer tag up in the video right now. He sent me a message on Friday. When was this? I I I don't know. The first, December first, which was ironically my anniversary. So with my wife, obviously. So that's pretty funny. Hey, I love your content on YouTube. It keeps me coming back to World of Tanks more and more. I hope you like the Captured KV-1, because that's what I'm gifting you today. Thank you for your content, and keep it up. It's in, like, broken English. I'm not even going to go through it, because it would just be kind of embarrassing for him. But, uh, despite English not being your first language, I do appreciate the love, and I will be sure to put gameplay of the Captured KV-1S. Er, the Captured KV-1S? I don't think that's a tank. The Captured KV-1 pretty soon. Funny story going along with it, though. Um, so I got the Yahoo Mail notification. Oh, you've been gifted a tank in World of Tanks. Uh, log in to accept your gift. I log in. <clears throat> the KV-1 is a Russian tank. Okay? Okay. Um, I looked in the Russian, you know, I, I, I filtered my tanks. Fi uh, tiers 5 and 6. I forgot what fucking tier the captured KV-1 even was. But it's a 5 does not get preferential matchmaking and goes to seven. That's fine. But, uh, it, it counts as a German tank. <laughs> and I was like, ugh, I haven't received it, and it's not popping up in the store. Where the fuck is it? I was, like, five minutes away from posting a tick about, ticket about it online saying, like, hey, this person gifted me a tank. I know them, etc. But thankfully I didn't have to go through the, all that, and I just filtered it out to German tier fives, in my garage and lo and behold it showed up amazing amazing what the mind can do and what a terrible thing it is to waste <clears throat> so yeah that's a stroke of idiocy on my part but uh... got a free tank from a fan i can't really ex i even send back to him a message saying i can't for the life of me understand what possessed you to buy a tank but from the bottom of my heart thank you so much for your generosity and support of my channel and then I asked him if it would be okay to make a video dedicated to him, and he said yes. Um, and he also owns a guinea pig, because that's relevant to the conversation. He's like, sorry I didn't respond right away, had to go feed my guinea pig. And it's like, no problem, dude. You gave me a free tank, there's not a lot you can do to really screw this uh, conversation up for me. Um, but, yeah, like... I appreciate it. I love every single one of you that is supporting my channel. Never in a million years did I think someone would gift me a tank. But again, I say, I do appreciate it. Very much. But for you to spend your money on me, just don't, don't, don't do it. Because I, I really can't afford to give back, and I really feel like I should. But I gotta learn to just accept gifts, because that's just one of my many personality faults. And, uh... Yeah, thank you to About Her Love CX for just donating this tank to me. I really do appreciate it once again, and that's all I'm going to say about it because I'm pretty sure I've said that at least three or four times by now. But yes, I will have gameplay of that up remotely soon before I leave for Arizona on the 19th. Is it the 19th? I don't know. I should probably look at my itinerary for like two weeks, but you guys will not notice a lapse in videos. I will have at least one video uploaded every five days in a queue for you guys, so no worries on the lack of content. But whether or not it's tanks you want to see, well, that's a completely different story altogether. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, good game in the Sheridan, 10,000 plus damage combined. Pretty stoked on it, actually. I've had higher damage games combined with this thing, but it's just... It's a good all-around tank. You can see how being aggressive in the beginning <clears throat> allowed me to get a shit ton of spotting damage from all three of my RDs. 
as well as a few tanks uh, supporting me to my side. But <clears throat> I very easily could have gotten taken out by that shit barn if he stopped and aimed at my location instead of focusing on other tanks. Although, I guess at that point, I would... Or, or I could have gotten artillery to death, but they weren't paying attention to me for whatever reason. So I punished them for it. I got a little bit of base damage on my own, and I just I keep racking up assisted damage because I'm the one spotting everything. Pretty funny. But that's what you can do in a light tank. So I guess it's not that surprising, but the amount of damage is great. So hey, why not throw it up in a video? Oh, I'm not even going to go down gun statistics. This poor T-57 is just trying his very best. Way to, way to contribute, by the way, uh, camping at the back of the base. Well done. Or not, not at the back of the base, but near your spawn. This whole team was just a clusterfuck of idiots, to be honest. Like, they all went down the GH... GHJK lines, and none of them went hill. And while... well... well did they all camp at the back? A lot of them did camp at the back, but there was three artillery, so there wasn't nearly as many quote-unquote normal tanks as there would be. And that's me one hitting an artillery because high explosive is where it's at, apparently. Hoping to get some high rolls on this shit barn over here. And uh, the T-92 just dicks on him for 1262, I believe. Can I get another high roll with high explosive? Absolutely not. I got 397, that's a very standard damage roll. I was trying to steal that other kill, but it's whatever. I'll pen him for a hundred and something damage, if that was even a pen. But game's over, I netted myself. It, it doesn't look like 10,000 combined right now, but trust me, it is. Let's go into the winning stats, yeah, okay, bam. Oh, it's like the slightest amount above 10,000 damage combined that you could ever imagine. But, yeah, on my way to the third mark for this thing, eventually I will get the third mark. I promise you that. But, as for right now, I'm just obs obsessed with the world that is uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. Despite the shitty replay system and the fact that you can't sell or drop old guns from your inventory. But, yeah, that is what it is. This is a World of Tanks channel. Don't really feel the need to talk about it too much. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and content like always. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time.